that's very interesting for him. So this one side she has like a stripes and then another side she has nothing. I think I have a dead shrimp over there. Oh no, she's moving a thing. Oh, she's fine, she's fine I think. Why she is doing this? She's lazy shrimp, look. She had a nap and she eating something. <laughs> she doesn't look good, huh? Let me check her. Okay, oh! Oh, she's okay! She's absolutely fine! Hello everyone, welcome back to Shrimania. Today I'm showing you my mixed Caridinia shrimp tank where I'm keeping mixed Caridinia shrimps. Most of them are Black Galaxy Pinta shrimps and some of them are, look like a, a Black Tiger Galaxy shrimps. Also have some blue balls here, some red Pinta shrimps. So I'm going to show you around this tank and talk about this tank today. Look at this beautiful moss here. It's called Fesidens Fontanus, uh, if I'm saying it correctly. And this is my favorite moss because it's very slow growing moss. Slow, very, it's grow very slow. And uh, I'm already making another coconut shell with this moss here. At the, at the back you can see, I just made it like a few days ago. And in a few weeks it's going to be the same as this one. Very beautiful growing moss and it's very slow growing as I mentioned already. And here I have uh, just a, a chola wood cactus tree with some uh, Anubis on top. Shrimps very like to hang on this uh, Anubis and on this coconut shell. As you can see I have UGF box here as well, uh, my favorite filtration method. And uh, also I have a sponge filter uh, with uh, uh, just a power pump on top. It's okay to have a power pump. The downside of the power pump on the, on the sponge filter is that it's hitting the water slightly. And the te temperature in this room is 20 degrees Celsius. So it's absolutely fine to having power pump. So this tank is about one year old. So it's time to change the soil. It's still okay. The pH of the, in this tank is still okay. It's roughly about 5.9. And uh, I think it's still good for Caridinia shrimp. Uh, as long as below 6 is okay, once it's uh, getting higher than 6, I'm probably gonna change the, the, the filter. I haven't been feeding them today yet, but they they seem to be very happy and running around. There are a few buried shrimps in this tank and I have lots of babies as well. Uh, as you can see, I have lots of blue ball shrimps as well, but the blue ball shrimps, they came from, most of them, they came from uh, like a pinter shrimps. Today maybe I can uh, call this tank and remove some of the blue balls because I don't want to have blue balls here in this tank especially males well this this shrimp look at the shrimps uh, this shrimp look uh, like a galaxy tiger shrimp uh, very interesting patterns I also have some uh, like a red pinta shrimps here um, they not exactly red galaxy shrimps and they more like a look like a pinta shrimp just a normal pinta shrimps I like mixing shrimps. I think it's look, looking cool when you have lots of colors in the same tank. And uh, when when you have a baby, so you can see some babies are different colors as well. And they have different patterns. Well, oh, take a look at this shrimp here. This looks like a King Kong shrimp, which is always good. I always wanted to have a King Kong colony, but I never tried to do that. So maybe in the future I can try to separate. And now I have a, a dozen at least King Kongs so in different tanks so if i oh yeah take a look at this shrimp here you see it's also like a king kong or something so it would be nice to separate some of them and creating a like a king kong colony yeah take a look at this one the shrimp is very active i think i'm thinking to to give them some food so they they, they all come to the front so we can all to take a look at them and oh that's another one so it's like a, more like a pinta shrimp. It's good to have a mixed tank because it's full of surprises. And uh, shrimp, when, sh when shrimp start to breed, you can, you can have lots of different babies. Yeah, so that's what I like about the mixed tank. So I think I'm gonna give them some food and uh, we're gonna properly look at them when they, they all come to eat. And I'm gonna feed them with uh, a Sorry about my pronunciation. It's, I think it's in German. It, it means like a, it's nettle sticks. So this is I'm, today I'm gonna feed them with Danirel nettle sticks, and I hope they're gonna like it. Normally they like it. So I'm gonna give them uh, a half of the stick. This should be enough for them. 
I think they start to smelling the stick and everybody gonna come at the front so once they come at the front we're gonna we're gonna take a proper look at them and maybe we're gonna call the uh, blue balls babies today that's what I'm thinking because there's quite a lot of blue balls babies and, and not even baby this one is almost uh, adult already uh, juvenile I think so we need to remove them from this tank and put them in the, in the blue ball tank yeah you can see a lot of blue balls here yeah the blue balls if you're keeping caridinia, high end caridinia shrimps um, make sure you have a spare tank for, for blue balls because you're gonna have lots of blue balls even when you have like a black galaxy colony for example you're gonna have some blue balls there and blue steels as well so it's better to to make a space for them in advance and then you're gonna have a blue ball tank I like blue balls actually they're quite nice they're looking cool this is what the, the most common Caridinia shrimp I think after the crystal red and crystal blacks so if you beginner and starting with simple Caridinia like crystal black crystal red the next stage would be the blue balls because that's the, 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 the easy shrimp as well it's a little bit more difficult than uh, simple crystal black or crystal red shrimps but it's still quite easy as well oh take a look they're all coming here to eat they love this metal sticks and uh, lots of babies around I'm gonna show you some babies as well so yeah here you go that little baby here yeah this tank doing great one of successful tank I have they had some issues before uh, it was like a bacterial infection when the shrimp start dying and continue dying for one month and then uh, luckily it's, it's gone away and now they're doing very great and they start to breed again and having plenty of little babies around this tank and on top of UGF I have a flay moss you guys keep asking me what uh, moss is this and this is the flay moss so I have only two mosses now maybe three but mostly two in most of the tanks uh, this is a flay moss also my favorite it doesn't stick to any surface and it's like a, it's not very fast growing so it's like a medium growing moss and that's what what I like about this moss and I like also the shape it's like a flame and also I have fessy dense moss I mentioned before where I grow it normally on coconut shells because I like the arch look uh, kind of overgrow arch very nice I think it's looking cool yeah the shrimp start to be happy they they eating now very happy Yeah, take a look this uh, this kind of shrimp I like it's like a King Kong with a or zebra this is my favorite one of my favorite shrimp as well you see the babies at the back yeah take a look at this baby here I think it looks like a, a galaxy tiger shrimp or very similar I also have some snails here but this just very very basic snails I don't like them so they, they just uh, I didn't put them here, they just, uh, I don't know where they came from, but yeah, I have to take them out. They already made some babies, you can see here. So yeah, I have to take them out before they multiply like a crazy. Put a couple assassin snails, so they, they will eat them. Uh, not many buried shrimps here at uh, this moment. I mean, this is winter now, and I kind of don't have like a lot of buried shrimps. Still few, but... Uh, not as in the summer, so uh, hopefully when the weather get warmer uh, we're gonna see more buried shrimps everywhere let's catch all these blue balls baby and take them away from this tank when I start catching blue balls I find very interesting shrimp uh, and she call one side a shrimp let me just make your turn so you can see what I'm talking about so she has like a she has no patterns on one side and she has a patterns on another side take a look at her or, or him I don't know okay I heard that these shrimps might have a double gender as well so she can be a male and female in, in, in the same time 
so let's hope she's not like that because oh yeah look take a look take a look yeah so this one side she has like a stripes and then another side she has nothing so maybe we can catch better shot when she gonna be turning like uh, away from us so yeah go away from us and we're gonna see so this is very interesting shrimp I have few of them and I wish I can breed them I think I think you can breed them but yeah because they can be a female and male in the same time it might be difficult yeah look at here look at the shrimp wow that's very interesting shrimp yeah still small and I have a few of them in another tank but I hope she's gonna be growing soon yes very active as well have you have you seen something like this before maybe you have it in your colony just let me know in the comments it's good to know about the shrimps and uh, did you try to breed them as well so I wish I can breed them so imagine they're like a half body shrimps like this very interesting take a look at it that's looking good huh? yeah one side is completely nothing only on the head some patterns on the head another side you see some stripes on the tail yeah and it's also something like like a white color as well so more deep white color so it has like a three colors a blue white and like a dark blue yeah you can see it's more kind of white on one side yes right here you can see it now nice very interesting i hope i can have more of them like this so i can breed uh, breed them that would be nice i just finished catching the blue balls babies and i'll show you in a second uh, here you go they all in this little box and they're roughly about 12 of them some of them looking nice yeah this one you see i think this male look very nice very promising so i'm gonna put him in a blue ball tank yeah they start to drag the food slightly away from the front of the glass your shoes probably do the same yeah you give them a foot at the front of a glass and then in a few minutes they're already in the middle let me just show you again this interesting shrimp try to zoom on on, on it come on turn around you're gonna see another side a beautiful side of you yeah turning oh here you go beautiful this side is much better yeah uh, many many babies came to it as well yeah you can see them here nice little babies very beautiful very happy with this tank guys very very happy okay let's put this blue balls in blue ball tank and my blue ball tank is there in the bottom here it's uh, the water here is not crystal clear and the problem is that this filter sponge has very big uh, pores and I need to change it to the small pores it doesn't filter in water very well and because that underground filter has an issue I told you many times already I'll tell you again has some dust at the bottom which eventually come into the tank yes and my cat come here why, why you, you I'm making video I'm making video don't eat my shrimps okay don't eat don't eat my shrimps okay okay I have little acclimation system so there's a like a hook on one end with the air stone so open this up put it here on the tank and suck the water from here too much too much too much too much yeah like this the water parameters is very close because I changed the water with the same water and we have pretty much the same soil everywhere so I'm not gonna be acclimating for very long just 40 minutes maybe because the pH probably lower here because this tank is new and that tank is old here you go so like two drops per second they should be okay quick acclimating Okay, while I'm waiting for acclimating to complete, I'm going to show you a few tanks. And here I have my favorite shrimp tank, Black Galaxy Tiger. Look at them guys. Look at the babies around. They're growing so quick. Wow, I'm super happy about this tank. 
you might saw the video on my main channel about this tank I'm very excited I did a haircut of this trim this moss and I put another coconut shell with the moss yeah, that's brand new I just made it and yeah take a look at these shrimps they gorgeous fantastic shrimps very happy about them they're now feeding on the same food I feed that tank nettle stick very very happy about this food because they love this food you see that yeah they very love this food and I feed them yesterday with protein food they hungry every day take a look at them they're so active the most most beautiful shrimp I have I think yeah there's a lot of babies on that glass enjoying that biofilm lots of lots of babies around so yeah still growing some of them very little and I have some red babies as well red galaxy tigers so this this good I have red galaxy tigers I don't I didn't have them before so I didn't buy them yeah this is a red galaxy tiger yeah came from black galaxy tiger I have a few blue balls here as well I'm gonna call them later very beautiful and here I have a Michelink like a hybrid shrimps yeah mostly females mixing with uh, pinto males so you can see pinto the males and they're making like mixing babies like 50% of pinto babies and 50% of just uh, crystal shrimps but hybrids as well Michelinks as well so very exciting about this project uh, I need to make a proper video about this project because this is the the part two of my crossbreeding project where I crossbreeding uh, pintos with uh, crystal black shrimp in the beginning and then the babies grow up I took some females put them here with the, again with the uh, with the pintos uh, males mix them together and they're making some babies now so this is a part two for video I'm not gonna spoil a lot of that but the yeah, shrimps looking good here okay let's go to the next tank okay this one is uh, just a black zebra black pinto black galaxy so basically the galaxy shrimp which has a more black uh, co coloration and in my last video I just changed the soil in this tank and also in this tank next to it and I'm very happy about this soil I also cut the moss and remove floating plants and the tank become very bright and you can see it look like a lot of space here and I can see shrimps much better so the shrimps start to be less shy come around eating you see the shrimps are very active and I'm very happy about this tank I have assassin snail here I think she is sleeping and I also put a normal snail here just for, for her so she's not attacking my shrimp so if you have assassin snails make sure they have a food a live food like uh, snails otherwise they might cutting your shrimps so yeah it's happened before with me when they're hungry they don't mind to eat the shrimp yeah and they, they will try to attack it and hunt it and one day they might catch it so it's better to give them a little bit of of snails like a one by one maybe once a, one a week two a week depending on the population yeah here I have a red galaxy shrimp here in this tank they're doing fantastic as well three or four buried females here I saw and now it's better to see where, where we change the soil and cut the moss so yeah doing doing great here feeding with the same food everybody having the same food today nettle mix no floating plants anymore good so hoping the algae and biofilm gonna be growing better now without floating plants so yeah so and here at the top I have uh, just a coal tank where I mix a lot of color shrimp as well also like this tank because I like mixing the colors and when you look at this tank you have like a, you see like a black blue red color shrimps yeah you look fantastic look good yeah uh, looking very good very like it also have some fancy dense moss on the coconut shell as always very like this moss and the flame moss there on UGF very neat tank lots of babies as well they start to breed recently this shrimp tank and they have many many babies babies look uh, good some of them like let me zoom and show you take a look at this baby very beautiful color yeah 
some of them of course mischlings like this one because I have also crystal black shrimp here somewhere which has continued to breeding a lot maybe I'll find here later oh, oh no it's not here it's panda shrimp okay now let's uh, put them in the blue ball tank our little blue balls Okay, so more blue balls in blue ball tank. This is how I got so many blue balls here. And they, yeah, you probably know that I have some pinto shrimp coming from blue balls because they came from pinto tanks. You can see that I just separate 12 of them from pinto tank. Guys, let me show you this tank again and take a look at the shrimp. I think uh, this shrimp is metallic color. I'm not sure. Um, I've got it from one of from, from one of the Michelin and I never had metallic shrimp. But let me know if you have metallic shrimps and let me know if it's metallic. Let me just uh, try to bring it to the front so I can here you go. So take a look at this shrimp. Uh, let me know if it's metallic or not. Is this metallic shrimp guys? Let me know in the comments. Because I'm not sure. I never had it before. Look a bit metallic to me, a little bit shiny more shiny than another shrimps they look good yeah so I have, <laughs> only have one anyway so cannot breed them maybe I have another one once I have another shrimp I might try to breed them mm -hmm. 